Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to another SJK Online. I hope you've had a really good week, and I'm sure you're really tired from the long week of doing some homeschooling. Um, but I'm sure you're ready to have a bit of fun. Now, I have a challenge coming up, um, a challenge by Ruth. That's a good wee challenge to do. It's quite simple, but it's fantastic, so I hope you're ready for that. Um, we're going to learn a little bit more, more about God as well. Um, we're going to sing a few songs and learn learn a memory verse. So a lot of, a lot of stuff to be looking forward to this morning. Um, first we're going to sing a wee song. And you know this wee song because we've sang it before um, in SJK Online and also we've sang it in, in church as well. Um, it's called I'm Following the King. And so if you want to stand and we can sing this song now together. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that song. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Ruth because she's got a good wee challenge for us today. So we'll head on over to Ruth and see what that challenge is and see if we can do it in a faster time. So over to Ruth. Hello, boys and girls. Um, it's good to see you again and I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. So I'm doing a challenge this morning. The challenge will be to get the, the ball into a cup from eye level. Now you're going to need to weigh your cup down um, with something. So we have put two dice in our cup um, this morning and the, the ball must stay in the cup to win the challenge. And um, we've got 30 seconds to complete it. So here goes. Now, boys and girls, have you ever had some really exciting news before? Like, so exciting that you just couldn't keep it in. You had to grab someone, you had to tell them about this exciting news you just heard. Maybe you did, maybe you grabbed them, maybe you said, listen, this is the exciting news, and you told them. And then they said to you, that's old news, I, I knew that a couple of hours ago. Well, loads of people would say that news travels fast. And if you found something really interesting, and you told your friend, and they found it interesting, they would pass it on, and so on and so on. And before long, you would have loads of people knowing this exciting news. Well, last week, boys and girls, we were learning all about Jesus, weren't we? And how he rose again on the third day after his crucifixion. And how he appeared to his followers 
on the road to Emmaus, and also other places as well. Well, this news that Jesus was alive was just so exciting for his followers. And they were just this was the most exciting news they've ever heard. And they just couldn't keep it in. They needed to tell everybody that Jesus is alive and that Jesus is the saviour of the world. They needed to go out and tell everybody about this news. And so they did. They started telling loads of people about it. And then more and more people started be becoming Christians. More and more people started believing in Jesus because this message was being spread. But, boys and girls, some people weren't big fans of this of this message and of Jesus. They weren't fans at all. In fact, they weren't happy at all that this message was being spread far and wide. And one of these people that weren't too happy about this was a man named Saul. Now, boys and girls, have you ever had someone who just caused you loads of bother? Maybe they were a bully in school. Maybe they just, just got on your nerves and just wouldn't leave you alone. Well, that was a wee bit like what Saul was like toward the, the followers of Jesus back in the Bible. You see, Saul hated Jesus. He hated the message that Jesus brought as well. He hated the fact that all the followers of Jesus were spreading this message. And so he started hunting them down. He started grabbing them and pulling them out of their houses, putting them in prison and even having them killed. This guy Saul hated this message, this exciting news. He didn't want it being spread. And so it was very difficult for the followers of Jesus. It was very dangerous, so it was. But we're going to go over and we're going to listen in to a wee passage from Acts chapter 8 that tells us a little bit more about what was going on and how difficult it was for the Christians back then. The church are scattered. Stephen, who was a faithful follower of Jesus, was killed for his faith. And Saul was one of the witnesses that day when he was killed. And he completely agreed with the killing of Stephen. And a great wave of persecution began that day, sweeping across the church in Jerusalem. And all the believers except the apostles were scattered through the regions of Judea and Samaria. Some godly friends of Stephen buried him with great mourning. But Saul was going everywhere to destroy the church. He went from house to house, dragging both men and women outside and threw them in prison. But the believers who were scattered across the regions preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. Well, boys and girls, this would have been a very, very scary time for these Christians. And just imagine, pop yourself in their shoes for a wee second, and imagine you're in Jerusalem while all of these things were happening. Men and women getting torn out of their houses, getting put in prison, and even being killed because they believed in Jesus. This was the sort of thing these Christians had to deal with. And so they had to get out of Jerusalem. The Bible tells us that they were scattered across the regions of Judea and Samaria. But wherever they went, the Bible tells us they told others about Jesus. They told them about this exciting news that Jesus is alive and that Jesus died for them. And they did this because they knew that God wanted them to do it. And so just like how God wanted these followers in the Bible to tell others about Jesus, God wants us today to tell others about Jesus as well. Our friends, our family, and even the people we meet. But the good thing is, the good news is that God hasn't given us this task to do alone. And he didn't give that task to those followers to do alone either. You see, God promises that for those who believe in Jesus, for those who follow Jesus, he promises to give us the Holy Spirit, the Helper, who will equip us to do this task of telling others about Jesus. Let's pretend, boys and girls, that this tray with the water inside it is our lives. And this boat represents us. If we didn't have the Holy Spirit, boys and girls, we would be like this boat right now, not being able to do much, if anything, for God. 
like telling others about him. But thankfully, God has promised to give us those who follow Jesus, his Holy Spirit, to equip us to go and tell others about Jesus. And so when we believe in Jesus, we are given the Holy Spirit. And we can be like this boat, active in telling our friends and family about him. In our lives, boys and girls, there will always be people who don't like the Christian message. But God has given us all the special task of going and telling others about Jesus. Giving us help through the Holy Spirit, who equips us to do this special task. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 is our Bible verse this morning. And it tells us, tells us this, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, of love and self-control. And so I want to encourage you this morning, boys and girls, to be brave and to go and to tell your friends and the people you meet about Jesus. Because that's the task, the special task that God has given us all to do. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning and just thank you, God, that we have this message of hope. That, Lord, it is through you and you alone that we can be saved. We thank you, Jesus, that that you came and died on that cross and that you saved each one of us by your grace. We pray, Lord, that you would all help us to be brave. You'd help us to be courageous. You'd help us not to stay silent, God, but to go and to tell others about this message, this exciting news, the gospel. And so we pray these things in your name and pray that through your Holy Spirit, you would equip us for this special task. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, now it's time for our memory verse. I hope you're all ready to learn this memory verse. Um, and it's from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. So it'll come up on the screen below here. Um, and we can say it together the first time and then we'll bring some actions into it. A second. So let's say it said together after three. One, two, three. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, of love, and self control. It's great, guys. Well done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some actions, okay? So I'm going to say it first and show you what the actions are. And then we can all say it together with the actions, okay? So let's, let me say it first, and then you can come in after. Okay, the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, of love, and self-control. There you go. So that, those are the actions. Hopefully you've got it. I'm sure you're looking and listening. So now we're going to say it all together with the actions, okay? So let's say it together after three. One, two, three. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Lovely guys, well done, well done. We'll say it one more time with the actions and then we'll try and say it without the words, okay? So one more time, after three, one, two, three. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Lovely, well done guys, you're doing unreal. So now we're going to take away the words and we're going to try and say it one more time. Now I'm going to do it with the actions because I think the actions help us remember a wee bit more. Hopefully you can do that too um, and we'll try and do it without the words this time, okay? So after three, one, two, three. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, of love, and self-control. Well done, guys. Unreal. That's really good. Well done. Now it's time to get up on your feet 
and to sing another song. This is a new song. Um, we sang it once before, but it's relatively new. Um, and I'm, I'm sure you enjoy it because I love this song. It's a really good song. It's called Unshakable. So get up on your feet, get ready to dance, and also get ready to sing the words with me. Well, boys and girls, sadly, that's all we have time for this morning. I hope you have really enjoyed yourselves and you have learned more about God as well. But I have to go. I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you next week. All right. See you later.